What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of Prison Architect. I know it's been a while, but here we are. Now, in the last episode, uh, what we did, we worked a little bit more on this uh, protective custody wing here, which we don't have any people yet. Uh, however, we did add in this uh, snitch sorter over here. So now all of our new prisoners that do come in should, uh, their snitch or their ex-law enforcement traits should be revealed with this machine here, which is a nice little mod that we added in. Janitors are doing cleaning here, which is excellent. Um, what I think I want to do is we have that protective custody wing down here, which we can expand a little bit more, right? Right now we have 12 cells, and we can fit in another probably four here, three here, um, which is going to be seven. So that's going to give us 19. And then, you know, I think we might even put some more down here. Um, however, I'm not sure if we're ever going to really have 20 or so protective uh, prisoners. But, uh, one thing that I definitely do want to start working on is a uh, maximum security wing. And that is probably going to be put right next to protective custody, even though that probably doesn't make sense. They are separated with uh, large jail doors, and we could even do a, like a extra airlock or something over here for the maximum security guys. Just to kind of make it more difficult for them to reach the... Um, you know, if there is like a riot or something, it'll make it that much more difficult for them to reach this area of the prison here. And of course, if we do a maximum security wing, we'll give them their own canteen, uh, their own common room, uh, all that good stuff so that they don't have to mingle with the rest of the prisoners. Or at least that is the plan. Uh, now we do have 24,000 bucks and we have uh, one prisoner, let's see, one prisoner's due for release, 29 are up for parole, which we have the two parole rooms. And I think we have two or three sessions in each room every day. So that's, you know, that's probably four to six people, um, you know, their parole is being decided every day. So that number should start going down. Let's actually speed up time. And then uh, we'll see after today or tomorrow if that goes down. It already went down. It's down to 28 now. All right. One prisoner incoming at 8 a.m. It's nothing crazy there. But again, we're going to do... Oh, another thing I was thinking about doing too, we have a nice little chunk over here of about, what's that, um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, so about 28 cells here. We, we might end up making this uh, minimum security. Now, they don't have their own, I mean, they have their own showers in the cells, right? Every, uh, every cell that we have has its own shower, however, they don't have their own canteen. Oh, which actually that would have been perfect right here. Just turn this chapel into a canteen and have that be their little uh, little food area. But you know what? Oh well. Probably a little too late for that. Let's go ahead. Let's start working on that maximum security wing. We're going to have to do a foundation. Uh, we've been using the brick. So we're going to continue using the brick. Uh, let's do let's do something like Oh, let's do something like that for now. And then uh, again, we're going to want to uh, we're, we're probably, I, I don't know, uh, should we, you know what, I don't think I want to expand the uh, protective wing anymore. Uh, because I, I just feel like we're not going to have 20 or so ex-law enforcement or snitches um, at one time. So what I'm thinking we're going to do, we're just going to build this brick wall over here. But then we have, the, well, you know what, that's fine. We can build this brick wall over here and then we can just kind of use um, this area for the uh, maximum security prisoners. Because I think we're going to have a lot more maximum security guys than we are protected. And as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of orange on the map uh, of our prison here, right? Probably like a good 60-70% of our prison seems to be maximum security. Let's check this out over here. High risk, 37 Normal risk 47, so I was lying. It's not even close to 60 or 70 percent. Um, 16 low risk, so those would fit perfectly in that little 28, uh, 28 cell area that I showed you guys earlier. 47 normal, which obviously is going to be like the main area over here, right? If we do convert this to minimum and we have this as protective and we have maximum here, that will allow for pretty much all of these cells down here to be uh, regular old. Um, medium security prisoners. Alright, so our foundation here is done. Everybody should be sleeping. Uh, actually, the minimum risk guys are uh, are eating right now. Um, they should have enough food. No, do they not have enough food? I mean, there's the food just sitting right here, so I'm thinking we're fine. 
And then all of our cooks are gathering the trays, cleaning those up. So I think we're, I think we're okay with food. Um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to remove um, the wall right here just so that it can finish building the foundation. And then we're going to start working on that uh, maximum security area. All right, come on, workers. Somebody was saying, too, that I don't have people assigned to work. Yeah, they, they are. We have three uh, max jobs over here in the kitchen, three max jobs in the mailroom. Everywhere where somebody can work, um, they are scheduled to work, so that's good there. Okay, and we probably, so we're going to remove, why didn't it remove this one here? I want to demolish that wall as well. And then I'm thinking we're going to demolish this wall you know what maybe not because we might actually use that wall as part of the jail cells let's go ahead and we're gonna build a brick wall down here we'll do something like that and probably like that um, now let's see how big are we gonna make these cells mmm this is gonna be for the maximum security prisoners I'm thinking we're gonna want let's see if we're gonna build this wall right here right because we're gonna want to continue this hallway so we're gonna build this wall here Then I'm thinking we're gonna do the uh, the airlock just like one extra little layer of security just in case mm, we can do something like let's see what's the middle so that's 15, so we want to do 7 and 7. So let's see, 6. So right there. Then we'll do 6. So right there. That could be our little, like, airlock. Do something like that. Mm. Yeah, then I think we'll do something like this. And this might not, this might be kind of funky here. Um, let's see, we'll do objects. I want to do the jail door. Does it have like hit points? No, it doesn't. Mm, you know what? We'll do this. We'll do solitary door. We'll do a solitary door there, solitary door there. And that's going to be our entrance into our maximum security um, area. People are working. That's all good. You know what? Can we do any more grants just to get some extra cash? Uh, let's see. Cell block D. That's in progress. We need, what, 200? Yep, 200 prisoners for that. We are a little bit more than halfway there. Uh, we can do the short-term investment and the long-term investment. Those are both uh, work pretty well. Let's see, max sec. Um, increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor. Uh, unlock tasers. Unlock the CCTV monitor and the CCTV cameras, which is actually something that we were going to do this episode, right? Um, so that's going to give us 20,000 up front and then 20,000 upon completion. Uh, this one here I'm not going to really mess with just because that takes forever to have all those people go through the foundation education course and then have one prisoner pass the general education course. It takes a very, very, very long time. So I'm not going to mess with that too much. Uh, carpentry apprenticeship program. Uh, produce 10 superior beds, which I think we can do uh, just because we do have people that have gr uh, finished that program, right? Let's see. Um, workshop safety. 22 have finished. 13 have passed. And then we do not have the uh, the carpentry apprenticeship, which we can start. Let's go ahead and reschedule all of these programs. And then, like I said, with a parole, we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we actually have eight sessions every day. Um, so 26 prisoners up for parole. That is going down from 29 uh, when we first mentioned that. So that's good there. All right, this little area here is finished. We can start working on our maximum security right there. Let's see. Hmm. Um, so we did pick up that grant. Which I already forget what it was. Um, tool cleanup crackdown. Did we not do the grant for the uh, the carpentry? Let's do that. Oh yeah, okay, so we did, I think. No, oh, well, we have 42,000. Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and do the short-term investment just so we can start uh, knocking that out. Now, so we have the $37,000. What do we need to do? Produce 10 superior beds. Um, we're going to need to send the uh, the people through the um, carpentry apprenticeship program, right? And then this door here, I put that in the wrong way. Let's go ahead and dismantle that. 
and we're gonna have to put that in the other direction right sideways just like that bam all right that'll get done here in a little bit and then let's start working on this what I think I'm gonna want to do and I don't want to make them have like large cells or anything like that but um, let's see I don't really want them digging out either we could do like a little common room over here or something hmm let's see what we can do here uh, what kind of cell do I want them to have I want them to have a bed clearly right so I'm thinking what if we did we'll do a wall right there what if we did a bed here we can give them well, you know what we could probably just do the regular cells like we have here just minus like a radio or something um, ah, you know what we could probably just do the same thing we'll do we'll do bed we'll do probably a bookshelf what is this though is this this is not a regular office desk oh wow did you know I'm in did we really just give that's not right I think I messed up big time <laughs> looking back on this I gave them the wrong thing I think I gave gave them the office desk when I should have just given them the regular table I think because we don't want all of our prisoners to have a freaking computer oh boy all right well um you know let's check something here real quick uh, logistics is that what we want room quality uh, okay, so that is actually fine. Office desk is something, um, the regular table doesn't fit. So, you know what? No, I guess I didn't mess up, but still, that doesn't seem right. Like, I don't want, I don't want our prisoners having a freaking computer. Radio and bookshelf is fine. Yeah, so you know what? Especially for maximum security, I am not giving them a freaking uh, computer in their jail cell. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead, we're going to give them the, uh, the bookshelf, just so they can do a little bit of uh, nighttime reading. Then we'll give them the uh, the shower head. Um, let's go ahead and do that over here. Yeah, we'll give them the shower head, we'll give them the... Um, Uh-oh, what's going on? Recent high-profile gang case has implicated one of our minimum security prisoners as a high-ranking gang leader. They've remained under the radar, but now everyone knows who they are. Okay, well, I mean, cool. We're going to have to, I guess, assign them to our maximum security wing here once that's finished. That being said, let's go ahead and go back and finish what we were doing. All right, where are the toilets? Bam, there we go. Now let's go ahead. We're going to install that right there. And then we're going to do the drain as well. So much easier doing the search feature. Uh, we got the drain there, and then I'm thinking too. Let's go ahead, and we're gonna want to do the um, uh, radio or something. Just give them some sort of form of entertainment, right? Mm. And nope, can't find it. So let's just go ahead and do the search. There it is. I'm thinking put that right there next to their uh, head, and then we're gonna do the same thing. You know what, for now, let's just uh, copy that and then we'll uh, paste that. So we'll do the uh, the brick walls up here. Just like that. A little bit smaller cell than uh, the ones over here, but that's, you know, like I said, they're, they're maximum security guys. I'm not going to try to please them or anything like that. Uh, now materials, or uh, sorry, objects, we're going to have to do the, uh, the regular jail doors. Put that guy right there. Obviously, we're going to have to put in our, um, our utilities, right? The... Um, pipes and electricity and all that stuff we are going to want to assign a guard over here just so they can continuously move those doors or open those doors and then let's go ahead and assign a guard in this little wing here too and then we're just going to go ahead and clone that quick build clone copy this bad boy right there and we're going to go ahead we're going to put a few more of those in here just like that and i kind of wish we could rotate but we can't so we're not going to, because again, we can't. Um, I really wish they would get rid of these boxes. Um, 
You know what? That reminds me. We should probably put it in another storage area. If we do, we even have one storage area? I don't think we do. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll maybe make this storage over here. I think that would actually be a decent spot for it. So we'll go to uh, rooms. Where's storage? Uh, storage. There we go. And bam, should be good. Now our uh, workers should be able to move all these random boxes laying around and put them in here. There we go, speed it up. As we can see, this this guy's working pretty hard over here, grabbing all those extra boxes. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. Glad to see that. Do we have any protective custody yet? Mm, I don't think we do. Reports, prisoners, uh, normal, normal, low, no, no, we have a supermax though. That's, that's the guy, um, that is the guy, that's probably the gang leader, right? Sentenced to 87 years for multiple crimes, including murder, murder, and violent disorder. He's got an ex-wife, a daughter, a son, another... Ooh, okay, another son. Mother and father are still alive. I'm sure they're very happy for you, uh, Stephen, what you've become. Tough. This prisoner can withstand a lot of punishment in a fight. Uh, maybe this isn't the legendary prisoner. He is doing the foundation education program. His success chance is absolute horrible, though. Looks like he already did the Foundation Education Program once and failed that. Uh, let's check out his grading. He's got the uh, Punishment of 10, which is excellent. That's what we want it to be. Reform is 0. Well, you know what? You are a Supermax prisoner, so I'm not too worried about you having any reform whatsoever. Security, negative 5. Um, let's see. 52% of stay locked up. 69% of stay under armed guard or suppressed. Uh, that's why he's got the six points right there. Involved, oh, 31 penalties involved in violent incidences. So he's definitely a high, um, high problem prisoner for us. And health is negative three. All right. Let's talk more working on this maximum security area over here, right? All right, we've got the, uh, the guard station there. Um, let's go ahead. How should we do it with the, um, let's see, let's see. How do we want to do this? I want to give them a common room. Would we be able to fit a common room over there? And is there some sort of a requirement for how big the common room has to be? No, it does not show that it has to be any, any sort of a special size or anything like that. And then also, can we give them something else? Um, let's see, what could, what else could we put? I'm thinking we'll do a common room over here, and then we should do something else over here. Well, we could give them, like, another laundry room, I guess. Um, visitation, maybe we could do visitation over there in, like, the, the maximum security area. Um, a library, classroom, we could give them their own classroom, too. Um, maybe a chapel? Hmm, you know what, let's just start working on the uh, the common room for now. Um, I'm thinking let's do the common room right there. You know, let's do the common room like... Like this? Yeah, we'll do the common room right there. That'll give us a little extra area to work with. And then we could do brick wall there. There and there. We could just, yeah, let's do something like that. Um, then we're going to put the door. Just a regular old door. I don't care if they really go into the common room, uh, whatever. And then we're going to need to put the objects in the common room, right? So I think we're going to do one TV. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we're going to do the TV. We'll put that guy right there. We'll put that sucker right there. We'll give them a couple of phone booths. And then I think we're also going to give them um, maybe a weight bench. Uh, we'll do two weight benches in the corners right there. And then when, uh, once that all gets installed, we're going to want to put the chairs down. I don't really remember what um, the size of the coverage is for the TV. I want to say it's like 3x3. Three three. And then I'm thinking, too, we'll give them a pool table. Like right... Uh, it doesn't make sense to put it in the middle, just because if you ever play pool, you know the table can't really be alongside walls. Um, but, you know what... We're not going to go for super realistic. We're just going to put that right there. And then let's see. This TV, yeah, it could be 3x3 three three in coverage. So let's go ahead and give them the uh, the sofas. 
Bam. Bam, bam. Again, we're kind of covering up that pool air, uh, pool table area, but you know what? That's fine. I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the utilities now. Like we were saying earlier, we need to do the electrical cables. We'll spread those out along here. Good, good, good. Uh, let's do the piping as well. Uh, we'll do a large pipe. We'll extend that over here. And then we'll just do the small pipe running through uh, these cells here. Then when we build more cells, we'll uh, obviously do more piping there. And then uh, obviously we need to uh, make this a cell. All these. And then that's going to be our new uh, maximum security area. And then uh, you guys were also saying too I should do this. Let's see. Uh, staff only. Um, so security staff only, right? The, uh, let's see, storage, security, and armory is staff only. Then we will do uh, accountant's office, warden's office, foreman's office, chief's office, staff room, the psychologist. We kind of want them to be able to do those classes. Uh, kennel is going to be staff only as well. And you know what? I think, I think that's fine. I think that's good enough. Cleaning cupboard. Um, we have prisoners working in that cleaning cupboard, so we're going to leave that uh, the way that is. Yeah, I think we're going to leave uh, this area here just the way it is. Workshop, workshop, forestry, all that. No access here, which uh, we already know. It's kind of a small common room. I'm thinking maybe we should have uh, demolished this wall and put that common room over here. But you know what? Um, I think we'll be okay. And then, uh, okay, we do already have prisoners uh, assigned to this area. Um, we do need to add in the canteen, and we also need to add in more of the jail cells, right? Okay, let's do this. Let's get rid of this wall. Uh, we'll get rid of that wall right there. Speed up time a little bit, make sure that they uh, just make that uh, demolished a little bit faster. Alright, I want them to knock that out. I'm thinking we'll probably build something else right there, and we have some problems going on over here. Crazy little riots. So many unconscious people at that. Four, five, six, seven, eight? Eight prisoners are unconscious right now. Sixteen prisoners, or sixteen people, period, require some sort of medical attention. Luckily, nobody died. That's good for us. Uh, we have two in solitary, thirteen awaiting solitary now. 15 awaiting solitary. Wow, okay. 16 requiring medical attention. 20 prisoners are up for parole, so that's at least going down. And then 9 prisoners are arriving here uh, next morning. Actually, did they just arrive? I don't think they... Uh, I don't think they're here yet. Nope, doesn't look like it. It says they're arriving at 8 a.m. It's 8.10. I thought maybe, uh, maybe they just arrived. But nope, doesn't look like it. We have some people visiting. And then we do need some more doctors too. Let's uh, let's hire a couple more doctors. And you know, let's just do one for now. I think just because we do have a lot of our uh, our guards requiring some sort of medical attention too. Four beds, three doctors. Here are our prisoners. They just arrived. Beautiful. They're gonna get in processed. Uh, we've got the snitch sorter working again. Do we have any freaking protective custody prisoners? Does not look like we do. Alright. I want to really get some of these cells here uh, done. We, we, I definitely want to get more. Uh, more, more, more cells. Um, let's see. How could we do this? I want to make this as uh, as neat as possible. You know, let's hire a few more janitors too. We uh, seem to be having a pretty, pretty dirty prison. So we'll do something up here. Um, let's check this out. We'll do something like this. And we'll probably turn that into something. I'm not sure if it'll be a classroom or maybe a workshop or something. But we'll turn that into something. And then over here we're going to want to do something um, with the cells. Uh, we we'll definitely want to expand further down too. We do have a death. Fantastic. You know what? I think it's... Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's do a... Um, We'll do bang up and we'll do a shakedown right now. Just because this is getting a little bit out of hand. Our prison is uh, out of control. I kind of want to reestablish a little bit of order. Mm. 
how should we do this? Can we fit? I think we actually will be able to fit a few more. Let's do this. Um, so we've got that going for us there. We will do something like that, like that, like that. And then we'll be able to maybe potentially... Mm, no, we won't be able to do what I wanted to do there. Ah, oh, man. Okay, hold on. Clear indoor area. I want to get rid of that. No more of that. Alright, how are we going to do this? Let's see. Hmm. If we do... Clear. Quick build, right? So we've got the 4x4. Four four. If we build that there... Oh, I guess 5x5 five five with the walls. But if we do... Um, if we do that right there... We should be... Will that be in the middle? That'll be 4... If we do that there... Do that there... 1 and 1... Mm. Okay. You know what? That'll actually work. I think if we put that right there. If we put these right here. Let's try this. Bam, bam, bam. And then uh, we're going to have to manually build these the next ones over here. So we're going to do the, uh, the bed. We'll do a bed here. Uh, we're going to give them the bookshelf. We're going to give them the radio. Um, radio right there. And then we're going to give them the toilet, the shower head, and everything else that we have in those other cells. We'll do that right there. Uh, we'll do the drain. And we need the toilet. Mm, toilet, toilet, toilet can't find it toilet there it is bam bam so that should be good right there let's go ahead and fast forward have them finish constructing that looks like we need a little bit more power over here as well uh, so we'll just do something like this We should have a constant guard right there. Like, you know, I guess we could just do those door servos. Um, let's do that. Um, utilities, right? Door servo, we'll put those guys in right there just so they can manually open those doors. Then we'll connect those up so that our security can uh, open those manually. Come on guys, put those in and get rid of this bang up too. Searched 860 out of 904 places, so that shakedown is going to be done here pretty soon. Uh, this worker here is going to install that door servo. He's going to install that one. Let's go ahead and connect those up then. We'll do the, uh, the wires. We're going to need to install those way, way up there. Bam. Again, I'm going to do the uh, the double. Bam. Good. Alright, so now this should be um, manually operated. Right? We'll, we'll find out. If that is, then we no longer need to station anybody there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I need somebody to come in here. I want that door to open up manually. I want to make sure that it's working. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, this is going to be one of the last things that we do today. Um, bam. Finish construction there. Let's go ahead and put the uh, the jail door right there. And then we'll be able to clone that and uh, build a few more cells for our maximum security prisoners right there. And then I think... Um, how many do we have? We have 40 high risk. So I'm thinking we're probably going to want around 50, 52, I don't know, 60, 70 cells, something like that. Good, so those doors are opening by themselves, which is excellent. 
Just need you to finish up these walls over here, guys. Guys and gals. And then once that wall there is finished, we can go ahead and do this cloning. Um, quick build. Clone that for me. And then we'll install these over here. And I think we're good. Uh, we're going to have to obviously expand the foundation a little bit more. But yeah, you know what? We uh, we started off on our maximum security area over here. Let's go ahead and do the piping real quick before I forget. Mm, yeah, we'll do something just like that. Um, next episode, we'll probably expand a little bit more on this maximum security area. Uh, we'll figure out what we can put in here. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see uh, put in this area over here. If we should maybe do a classroom or maybe a workshop or, um, I don't know, maybe maybe even a store or something like that. Uh, we could actually put in a store right here and then just have the uh, the entrance to the store, not the entrance, but like the window to the store be over here. So the prisoners can actually purchase stuff from the store and it doesn't have to necessarily be a maximum security only type thing. But you know what, that is going to be it for this episode guys. If you liked it, do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, you know what, I'm really thinking I'm going to start a new series. I know that uh, I mentioned... Uh, that I'm going to actually be getting rid of a series, which I'm thinking, to be honest with you, I might get rid of the RimWorld series just because it seems like it is uh, the least popular series on the channel right now. Um, cool, nice little Polaroid there, I guess. Um, so yeah, the RimWorld might be going away, and then I'll probably end up getting rid of one other series. I don't know, maybe when Prison Architect is done or whatnot, but uh, there's another series I really want to start uh, playing. Um... And I might just do a whole bunch of episodes in advance and then just be able to publish them in, you know, back-to-back -back days or every other day without actually having to play it. But um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy that series. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to, you know, give you guys a heads up as to what it is. Um, not yet, at least. Let's go ahead and real quick, too. Um, we're going to assign these to be cells. And we also need to put in, you know what, we're going to wait. We're not going to put a door there or anything just because we don't know what that's going to be. Anyways, so that's it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.